The Rome Torinet Railway, also sometimes known as the Yellow Train, is an old and unique railway in Rome and in some ways the whole Italy as it's the last train service using the Italian narrow gauge railway that is still running on a regular schedule and serving ordinary residents. The railway has been shortened multiple times over the decades and since 2015 it has been running only between Roma Lazzioni and Cento Sole. The railway has been gradually replaced by trams, buses and metro. This development has decreased the importance of the railway and the areas it previously served. In the future, the yellow train will be replaced by a modern light rail service that will be known as Metroline G. The story of this railway began as the Rome Fiuzzi Alatri Frosinone Railway, often called a Ferrovia Vicinale, or the nearby, nearby railway in English. The construction of the original railway was completed in 1917. The railway line was line joining Rome to Frosinone via Fiji. The current railway uses the surviving parts of this railway. This railway project plan was drafted by an engineer called Antonino Clemente and the Council of Public Works accepted it in November 20 of 1910. Even though the railway was a public project, Antonino also had other reasons to propose the project. You see, Antonino and his brothers happened to own farms in Cave Genaziano and Olivano, and it was burdening to get their goods for sale from those towns to Rome. Since trucks practically didn't exist yet, an electrified freight train was a perfect transportation vehicle of the future that would help the people and cargo to move between these towns. It appears that many of the stops of the railway had some connection to Clemente's businesses, while usually only the farmlands are mentioned. Clemente is also known to own basalt quarries near Laghetto, where there used to be a station. Although, while Clemente family benefited from the railway, it must not be concluded that Antonio Clemente proposed it project only for personal gains, as the whole community and all the entrepreneurs benefited from the project equally. The construction finally began in 1913, after a series of delays, and the first finished part of the railway started to operate between Rome and Ganezzano in 1916. The railway service reached its largest reach in 1927. At this point, the railway had reached the length of 137 kilometers with the maximum speed of 40 kilometers per hour. While today it would seem like the railway would make a lot of sense to exist even today, it was dating quickly at the time because buses, trucks and personal cars seemed like the new feature that wasn't too well understood a few decades earlier when the project was planned. Like everywhere else in Europe, this railway too started to shrink already in 1930s due to a competition. The railway was also badly damaged during the war in the 40s, which definitely didn't help to keep the rail railway around, as it was felt obsolete. After the war, the railway was mainly shrinking over the years. A few new stations were occasionally opened and then closed soon after. Finally, natural disasters, uh, high operating costs uh, and aging technology caused pressure to keep shrinking the service. Probably due to the finances, the railway had an impressive number of operators until the city took over the remaining railway, giving it uh, fin giving finally the attack, the operator of the public transportation in Rome. Again, it's interesting to note how often the stations and parts of the railway were first modernized just to be closed within a few years after. In the most extreme cases, even the next year. Finally, in the 2000s, the remaining railway was getting replaced by Metro C that would re reuse some parts of the old railway between Garnetti and Pantano. Over the years, the service was shortened a few more times giving it a new start as an urban railway and renaming it 
as a Roman getting at the railway. Despite the new name, the railway was soon shortened even more as it was felt that Metro C and buses service the area between Santa Sella and Gerdinetti just fine, hence it's currently running only between Rome and Santa Sella. Yeah, I'm sure. 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 Yeah, I'm sure.